Hey guys, it's Blast453 here, and I'm here to show you guys a tutorial on in Photoshop how to blur out the background of this image and making this seagull and that se those two seagulls over there get pulled more in focus and making this image make it more professional, as you may say. And it is not hard, it is very easy, and all you need to do is have CS3, CS4, and CS5, it works with those three only and it, it it just works well and it's just a couple of easy steps so just follow along as I go and um, do these steps okay so first what you're gonna do is right click on the layer duplicate the layer then click it doesn't matter what you name it but I'm gonna name it background copy or whatever just click okay and then while having that layer selected go to filters go to um, blur Gaussian blur and then blur as much as you want too much is gonna make it look so blurry that you can't see nothing the best one that you probably should use is 3.3 that's the best one I have used so far and it does overall a great job so just use that unless you want to do it your own way now this blur does do pretty much of a good effect all you gotta do is after you um, blur it just grab the eraser tool and then start erasing the parts that you don't want to be blurred. Like all the wing part of this seagull. I do not want it to be blurred. Just make the seagull look nice and neat. And I'm not doing overall a good job because this is just tutorial. And as you would know, you get the idea. And um, some of the newer cameras that came out this year, they will have um, this effect. They don't have to edit it in Photoshop or any other program. Them, like the Canon 60D, they can um, just take a picture and choose if they would like it to be in the background. It, they could just ch click like a button, I think, and they can do it. They're lucky. But if you don't have a camera like that, just use this way in Photoshop. And this overall does a great job. As you can see, it looks very nice. Look at them. This seagull is not even actually there. It's like it's not even supposed to be blurred. I just blurred it out in Photoshop. It looks uh, realistic and pulls it more in focus, as I said before. Overall, this blur does a very nice job. So if you just follow these steps, you should get a good image like this. And that's pretty much about this tutorial. It's not so hard. It was like the quick and easy step, and yeah. So all you got to do is have Photoshop, CS3, CS4, CS5, and then you can do it. And um, you could just use it anyway. And I'm going to be start doing tutorials like this in Photoshop, and since I got Photoshop now. And I'm going to be doing After Effects. And if you guys need any help in one of those, just type down in the comments. Tell me if you need anything. And I'll try to make out those videos for you guys so you guys can learn tutorials from me, Blast 53 So, um, just remember, rate, comment, subscribe, and peace out.